<laughs> Good evening, my bicycles. I don't know if they heard most of what you said, but they might have just heard it. Oh, uh, that's fair. At least it's a nice blanket. It's it's really what I meant to say. We got a big we got a big ass pony blanket that we have over our legs in the where are we we're in the office as, as usual. Yes, but we are back <laughs> for more streaming of control. Last time we finished the main game, mm -hmm. and now we are resuming with the DLC, the Foundation. It is more streaming of control, not to be confused with the screaming of patrol, but there may be some of that too, depending on how creepy things get. It's not like you said the screaming of patrol. <laughs> I mean, Which, I guess cops will scream if they are going on a patrol <laughs> and being chased by a monster or something. I mean, but... yeah, really. Legit, you know, actual playing clipping into reality and destroy and um, threatening all of the Bureau at minimum and potentially most of the world or at least the country. Yep. You know. Now then. Or this game scenario. Yeah, that's creepy. Oh, yes. Here's the darkness we were talking about. Woo! I'm Alex. Yep. I've forgotten that there was this area down here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Well, the wall looks different, so... It does, but I don't think it's meant to look... I don't think it's that different. Or maybe... I mean, can you use one of your crystal abilities on it? No. Right. Otherwise, it would have already... Then it's just some aesthetic, I'm sure. Yeah. Alright. We... So we... So last time, we... We um, got yanked across the astral plane by the former, who is now helping us, question mark? Because the, cause Jesse doesn't like the Bureau deciding what she can slash can't have. Yes. <laughs> Regardless, it gave us the additional power, whereas we had first had break, we now have... Row! Oh, I, I did not jump high enough. Oh, that was eight high enough. Woohoo! Kind of looks like Elsa from Frozen, like growing her ice powers. <laughs> Baby. Whoa. All right. There is a question mark thing back there that I might need to go explore later. But first. Yeah, first we'll go do this one, then we'll go to the question mark thingy. Okay, but first. First, I'm going to stab someone with this giant spike. Okay. Assuming that anyone is here to stab. <laughs> what if the only person who's here to stab is just like this random bureau worker who got lost? They're like, oh no, I have to put down my giant... Oh look, no, here are some his people. There you go, you can stab them now. You get a rock. You get a rock. Everybody get the rock. Oh. oh. You get a rock. Okay, he's apparently not a big fan of Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> he was unhappy that everybody gets a rock. <laughs> and now I can get up these areas as well. Okay. Yep. Do -do. A box. What did you get? You got a shield injury energy recovery. Oh, that's nice. Do -do 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 -do. Watching her levitate is pretty cool. Yes. Oop. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, okay, so those were breakable, but... And then growable. Oh, I thought you said grillable. I'm like, what the heck are you cooking down here? Don't do that. <laughs> no, growable. That makes much more sense. Yeah. Uh, okay, just checking the number of mods to make sure I don't need to get rid of any. <laughs> Oop, I think I just clicked right through that box. Yes, you did. Okay, and we're headed towards... Something. It's just marked as question marks on my map, so. Alright, so that's very descriptive as usual. Whoa! Hello. Oh, I wanted to pick him up and bring him with me. <laughs> Instead, you shall have to settle for three rocks. Yes. For what it's worth, probably put those together. Depending on how you stack them, would be relatively the same size as him, so that makes it really better. Nice.
Oh. How? I, did you just injure yourself doing that? No, I didn't lose any health. But I was, yeah. but I was trying to see if I could um. Launch yourself up by growing the crystals while you're right above them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Like, I really like this outfit for Jessie. Like, it it looks like a super villain outfit that she took when she vanquished her foe and then made it into like into like a super anti-hero outfit. Like it looks so like it looks cool. I think they would call this a badass long coat and TV tropes. Not to be confused. Um. Uh, now, like, unlike her um, street clothes, which are called Hellbent for Leather. Okay. Hellbent for Leather? Yeah! Hellbent for Leather, yes. Is that a TV up there? No, just a light. Okay. I think that's later. Okay. <laughs> I do think there is, like, a bonus quest involving an altered item, but it's I don't remember if it's here or part of... Ow! Steam vent. Or part of the, um... Other... DLC. Or part of Al. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect that guy to suddenly hit me. No, if you did, you probably would, yeah. It probably mm. would have looked a lot different. Whee! Mm. Yeah, you got nothing. Shifting fragment. I wonder if you get enough of those, can you actually, like, make the building, like, the floor that you're on shift around? I that would know. be cool. That would be pretty cool, yeah. But it would also probably be really hard to design gameplay wise. You left? Is it from the upper floors? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Aren't they worried about the astral plane like clipping into this reality? Yes, which is which is why she sounds concerned. Yeah, she does. Just gonna check real quick. There we go. Sorry, just checking the comments real quick since <sighs> We have missed them before, it doesn't quite like... Yeah, it doesn't quite show the comments on here for some reason. So if we miss something, we apologize and we will, and we will respond to it when when we check. We are down to Georgia. Collapse department. Oh. Jordan only has notes. Oh yes, there, there it is. Woo! Well, I'm gonna go over here first because cats. Cat? Yes. If we find all the cats, this is where we have to come in order to... Hi. Look at them. Look at their little, look at their little selves. Yeah, this is where we'll have to come if we find all the cats. Okay. But I really do not think that I want to find all the cats, because it'll be very difficult and tedious to find all the cats, but... Even if I have a guide and we just kind of rip through them? Maybe. Maybe we can do it off stream. Yeah. Yep. Am I good girl? Yeah. Imagine how awkward it would be if you get to this DLC and for whether is it mm. possible for you to get to this part of the game without having levitate, or is that a required mod that you, you need to? You need to. Okay. This DLC only becomes available when you beat the game, and you need levitate to beat the game. That's fair. In the meantime. Science stuff. Oh, is that is that trench with yeah. Casper and? We don't know who that is. Maybe that's uh the Carla lady that was. No, I think she's younger than that. <laughs> Maybe. Nah, I don't do that. What the heck is that? Looks like part of the. Re looks like they're building the reactor. Wonder if that's where the old director is. Look at all the little, look at all the little people in there. Look at yeah. how big that, that reactor is compared to everybody. Yeah, and there's trench near the wall. That, why are you like this? Because. Ooh, what's this one? To whom it, who, to whoever finds this, I am containment process designer Jean Gibbs. 
and I'm writing this document. I'm writing this to document the largest building shift to ever occur. Here are the facts. A considerably large section of the containment sector, including the processes and protocol protocols offices, our research facilities and a fair chunk of the fire break have been yanked down into a chasm that reaches far below lobby level, I think. It was a violent shift and I regret to report several casualties. Injuries were sustained by all, but many of us, myself included, are still mobile. We have set up a base camp and started triaging. There are little supplies. We explored our surroundings and found caverns of all things. Maybe we're in some kind of cave threshold like the quarry? Wherever we are, we're not the first. There are some rusty power cores, old lights, signs, infrastructure. What was this area used for? Why did they seal it off? Why have we never heard of it? More importantly, how are we going to get out? Oof. Oh. I'd forgotten about the fact that like an entire wing of the bureau had gotten yeah. yanked down here. And that's just, that's just really creepy. I mean, look, there's so much creepy stuff going on in this place. But just the fact that even the oldest house, the plate, like... The place where you do your work and that you rely on to see it to you know seal and contain and control all of this <laughs> stuff can sometimes just turn against you like that is unfortunate. Kai uh, AWE thirty seven. A series of reverberating sounds observed in downtown Kaiwi with no clear point of origin. That was witnessed by the city's general public. Mental and physical symptoms were reported, including aphasia, sleep paralysis, and excess blank in the reported individuals. Due to the brief nature of the event, overseas bureau agents were not able to respond while it was active. Immediately upon arrival, agents collected audio recordings taken by local witnesses. All bureau monitoring stations located at global junctions of acoustic amplification were directed to monitor any auditory events of similar pitch, wavelength, and duration in an event to trace echoes or epicenters. In the following weeks, similar cases were reported from both various amateur sources and bureau stations in major cities across the globe. The subsequent events diminished in volume and frequency per each occurrence. Event is believed to be generated by planar friction, though this is not confirmed. Okay. She's like, oh, yes. Um, yes. Okay, that's, that's great. Like, oh yes, you know, just just one plane bumping against the other. And dear God. There's there no, we go. There's no kill like overkill, dear lord. It was not breaking. So, that there's no kill like overkill. Overkill was very necessary for that. But boy, was it a lot. You are now my friend. F it. Yeah, what button do you have to press to see? Do you have to press and hold F in order to do that? I think so, yes. Then in that case, F is for friend. <laughs> hold F for friendship. Sounds like the Spongebob song. F is for friends. <laughs> for you and me. <laughs> F is for anywhere time. And is for, nope, I'm gonna... And it's for anywhere, anytime, at all times here at the FBC. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, and it's for nope, and then throw something at someone. <laughs> that's that's the that's the plankton version. I thought his I thought his was involved nuclear bombs or I mean, no survivors. I mean, yeah, but but what we can do is like I just made my I just made my own form for this song, so we can make a plankton verse too. F is for friends who hiss and who hiss and choo choo. U is for what is for you? I don't know. U is for U A. And as for Nova, I'm gonna throw a rock down here at the FTC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not my best song, but I got there eventually. I knew it. Yes. Unleash your inner Metroid. Find a box. Oh, this counts as part of the achievement. Oh, that's going to make getting the achievement actually really hard if I ever want to complete it. Ah, sniper. <laughs> Eat fire hydrant. It's <laughs> for no fun. Gun to throw a rock. <laughs> I gotta find I gotta figure out what the U is. I don't know where I came up with UAE. What is... I think that's the type of weapon, I think. I think so, but I have no idea. Yeah... Okay. 
You could be oh, you could be a you is for um unbound unbound objects unbound OOPs. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Enemy in here. Aha, there you are. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And for those who, who hit and shoot you, you win for unbound OOPs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's for no fun, I'm gonna throw a rock down here at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lost it so much you couldn't even remember your own line. Okay, keep an eye out for a bathroom, because I think that there's a bathroom nearby here that has some funny dialogue. Okay. After all that, after all that, nothing needs to be. That is fair, I mean, most of the bathrooms that she goes into are, are damaged or uh, just full of mold. Let's find a... I oh, actually just never specified how much time passes between this FBC and the um, main part of the game. No. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Someone call a plumber. <laughs> no one was around to hear that. Go ahead, no one's around to hear that. <laughs> I'm so happy I did hear that though. That was amazing. Oh, oh that was a just a, a hiss floating guy from back up at the F, up at the main building. Mm. What do we got here? Um, dead letters. Dear House of Representatives, my husband Francis read an article before he died about how the universe was really just a computer program. He believed it. I thought it sounded silly, but now I think he was right. Francis was hit by a car a few months ago, a drunk driver. I don't think that was supposed to happen. My neighbor's son Jeremy broke one of our windows with a football a week before Francis died. Francis yelled at Jeremy for it. He was a bit harsh. This is important because I see Jeremy on his computer through their living room window. He's on it all the time. His mother says he's a computer whiz. I think Jeremy is operating the computer program and he changed the universe so that the driver would hit Francis. He did it to get back at Francis for yelling at him. Is there a way to change the computer and make Francis come back? I, I have some money if it's expensive. I, I don't know how these things work. I don't care if Jeremy gets into trouble or not. I just want Francis to come home. Francis and I are very happy together. I can feel him not being here, and I know it's not right. Sincerely, Stephanie Miller. Aww. Uh, that sounds a lot more just like, you know, bargaining, unfortunately. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Also, this poor bathroom. I know. Someone call a blower. I don't think it's going to let me... Oh, you go. never you mind. Go. Oh, that one poor, like, floating lady over there. That one poor floating toilet. Ah, well, the good thing is, it's like whatever crap you put into it, it doesn't have to stay there. It just blow right out the open door. Oh. What did you do? I was just trying to open the door, and then I tried to happen. And then you shot, and then you just shot it off the wall. This is. No, I was opening the medical door. Then I decided to shoot the um, bathroom door in frustration. Yeah, you did. And then you broke both things off the wall. Like good lord. <laughs> Okay, I'm shooting one piece of paper and that leads to an explosion of like five pieces of paper, of like 20 pieces of paper. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, you don't exactly have a normal gun. Fair enough. Maybe it's very angry at paper. Or angry that I keep shooting things that I shouldn't be shooting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that, I feel like I've made that joke a couple of times. You're, this is what, your gun is just witnessing you wasting its own ammo on this random stuff. And it's going to be like, why are you like this? So now it's like, oh, you want to create a mess? I will give you a mess. And then just explodes paper. Okay, normal bathroom, but I need to break gems. Why, is it not, why are you not break? Um, Fine, to can play this game. There we go. Oh god. For a minute, I thought there was a lot of blood on the floor, but I think that's just the dirt. And the fire extinguisher. Yeah. There we go. Damn. That's what I was trying to do. And are you... What are you doing now? What can you do now that you've done it? Nothing? Just be satisfied? Yes. Okay. Nothing wrong with being satisfied with a job well done. Nothing, well, nothing wrong with being satisfied that you successfully shot a door off of a medicine cabinet. In without, dis without disrupting any of the medicine inside. In the bathroom. 
of a of a problematic FBC building. Yes. Okay. Just as long as we know. Fuck you, the dowsing rod. Nope. Oh, oh god. Oh, good thing no one was in here. They could have had a problem. Okay, there's space to move around it, but just imagine, you know, you're sleeping in one of those bunks, and then all of a sudden, the, like, a whole chunk of crystallized earth comes barging into your slave space, and you're like, send help. <laughs> send help, please. Ooh. You're listening to America Overnight, a beacon in the darkest recesses of possibility for more than 29 years. They're very proud of that 29 years that we got here. We have another letter from a listener. This one's unsigned, but postmarked from Toledo. Mm -hmm. It says, Dear America Overnight, I have the most wonderful appliance for your listeners. It is a miracle of God. A fountain <laughs> set. A fountain. A blessed gift. Uh -oh. As it is spelled with a capital B. Hmm. Oh, dear. Go I think I know what's about to happen. Dive on in. It is molten hot. Perfect for meat. No signature. That that'll be around. That'll be around. We're reading about a creepy party set. Studio. Just this letter. Wait. Maybe there's something else in the envelope. Some kind of black powder with white shards in it. Uh oh. Bone, maybe. Karen. What is this? Karen. On the air, Karen. Where are you? What's this powder in the booth? Is this, is this ash? Oh, oh God. Karen? How do I cut the commercial? Oh, no, yes, I knew that. I knew that was going to happen, and it's still so awful to hear it. Yeah. Crazy altered item terrorist group sent him a fondue set that turned his producer, Karen, to literal ash. And the two of them, I don't know, I don't exactly know where this is, like, talked about. Um, I don't know if it's talked about, like, another broadcast or whatnot, but the two of them were in a relationship. Which makes it so much worse. Not only that, too, but they also sent the ashy remains of someone else in that letter. Yeah. It's like... Why? You almost get the sense that they that they did it so that like not qu obviously it's not direct confirmation, but you almost get the sense that they did it to plant the idea in his head that hey, what you're about to see happen to whoever touches that thing is because of this fondue set. Um, because let's face it, I think if he just had the letter and went to look for Karen and saw the pile of ash on the floor. Obviously, you know, he would have been confused, spooked out, but because I think he saw it in there and was able to identify it as bone, and it came from the leather, then he sees that and he's like, oh my god. It kind of click makes the pieces click together in his head, and then he has to do that. Mm -hmm. yes. Honestly, even when it said, um, even when he was asking for Karen and he started to get panicked, you see Jessie, I mean, she's just kind of doing her normal idle in animations, but she turned more towards the camera to look at you, and it was yeah. unfortunate. Oh. Uh, Gibbs reporting in, it has been eight days since the collapse and still no sign of any rescue efforts. The Bureau is either completely unaware of our situation or incapable of helping us. Or maybe it's intentional. How many times have we seen the Bureau not give two craps about the hardworking staff when they go missing in this place? How many times did we let it sl slide thinking, oh, at least it wasn't me? Too many, I'm ashamed to admit. Anyway, there have been some developments. Strange crystals have begun growing through the walls. They seem to block some corridors, but not others. The path to the caves is always left open, but we're not sure why. Luckily, the crystals keep out the astral spikes. One's been hounding us for days. John, Nicolay, and Sarah went to try and find a radio, but never came back. We think the spike got them. I think it's been- I think it's hunting us. Doug says the spikes only exist in the astral plane, so what the F is it doing here? If we get out of here, I'm hiring a lawyer. These are unsuitable working conditions. Really? You're just thinking that now? Really? Really. Well, that's not a 
warming or anything. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I knew it, you. I knew the farm was just sort of like <sighs> so proud <laughs> and also so bad. I know. <laughs> I've made worse ones. Yep. No power. Typical. Of course. Oh, it's the hiss mumbling in the speakers again. Oh. I should hire someone who builds smaller machines. <laughs> but then you wouldn't be able to pull off the doors, the doors, and hold, and hover them so that so you know, like that. Altered item. Uh -huh. Pretty secure. Oh, oh, oh! I think there's an altered item down in down here. Oh. <laughs> Standing on the box to give yourself. Oh yeah, it's the movie camera. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be fun. This is so much fun. After what we saw, oh. projector do. We're about to have a great time. <laughs> Does not let me climb up the power core area. That's probably for the best. I'm just seeing if there was a way to get to the red door yet, but not yet. Oh. You're not allowed to go climbing where the power cores come out and potentially vaporize yourself. Aww. Aww. not my fault that dashing destroys everything around me but, for no particular reason. But it is your fault that you keep dashing even when you know it's destructive. Personnel may now safely enter. Yay. Have a Euro full day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think I think the PA's pun was worse than mine. I like it though. Oh, uh, that's true. That was so good. To be fair, if this place fell down before the hiss was a thing. Yeah. Be free! That did not work. No, I did really did it. But boy, was it fun. Yeah. Come on, baby. Now we gotta go over here. In the box, then we! Yeah. There you go. Let's go this way and unlock the door. Now aren't you happy that the uh, that your dashing breaks things? Otherwise you would just hit that window and ricochet off of it and boy would you be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> My power, it's been tripled. AKA cubed. Oh actually wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did That's you, not. Did you just mess, mess up your own punchline? Yes. Did I intentionally mess it up, or did I mess it up incorrectly? Wait, now I'm messing up that even. No, no, you did, honey, honey. <laughs> quit, 
quit before you fall any further behind. Never. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> I was thinking, why is there left floors on here? And then there's a freaking hiss. Hello. No, it's not a hiss. It's a... Mold? Moldy, yep. Moldy boy. Oh. No wonder, no wonder you have to be concerned about a wet floor sign. Mm -hmm. It grew in a damp environment. Ooh. Okay, for immediate publication, I learned a brand new language. The fish taught me. You probably don't believe me, so I will prove it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Holy me mit mayote, Jermol Baltic is on the echo. Quido, keep court or court on the road. And only Rick, what I put it fourteen fifty five. Twenty, this is this is painful. <laughs> they leave the room, I'm committed. <laughs> I'll spin drum globe in near twenty two hundred twenty two. Could you we whip your lawn in Roy Bunsen Quinn extra ten Jimmy Road? See, please publish this letter, and maybe other fish speakers will get in touch. They'll be able to read my address, even if you can't. Jimmy Wrong, Larry Humbert. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh. Don't you hate it when you need to use the bathroom and there's a giant crystal growing in there? Oh! Welcome to another episode of Brian's Movie Den with me, the ever lovable Brian Hinnerman. Okay. <laughs> Today I want to talk about a new film I found at Movie Night. That's night with a K. The Mecca for VHS aficionados in the greater Dallas area. Yeehaw! <laughs> the movie is called Delivery Disaster. It is. We open in media res. A mailman drives a truck of full of packages down in uh, an endless American neighborhood as a pack of rabid dogs chase behind. As they do. Now, these dogs are nothing like my mom, my stepmom's Corgi Chuck. <laughs> these were some real nightmare hellhounds. <laughs> I like the sound effects he's got going on there. pace with the mail truck, tearing chunks out of the driver's legs and arms. Ow. Each package he throws out the door is marked by his bloody handprint. He screams in pain and confusion, and this goes on and on until the movie just abruptly ends. There aren't even any credits, which is a pretty bold choice. Is this film a commentary on how our 9 to 5 jobs are killing us, or how hostile the modern world is to outdated concepts like mailmen? Perhaps it's merely a statement about the futility of purpose and how no task can ever be really done. There are lots of ways to interpret it, but for now, let's get to the part you're all waiting for. Uh -huh. It's score time. Score. Okay. I give this film a 4 out of 5, only because the actor frequently broke the fourth wall by looking into the camera and shouting at it. Like he was shouting at the audience. Is that a point four or a point against? Oh, against. But I did enjoy it, and I recommend you check out other films produced by Blessed Pictures. Uh oh. Bike Hard and Coffee Bullet are the only others I found, but this little art house studio certainly knows how to push the boundaries of Western cinema. Oh boy. And a friendly reminder that there will be no new episode next week, as I will be visiting my aunt in Delaware for Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening, all you Brian fans, and. Remember, we all love movie magic, but don't forget about the you magic. Until next time. Okay, you can you can probably guess though why oh, that's here. No, oh the blessed organization. Oh no. And even more so than that, the poor guy. It was probably. It, you think the poor guy? It was actually like a real thing. It wasn't a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, hold on. There was an elevator downstairs that I think I could go to. Yeah. I have to, I have to admit, there's something kind of interesting. He said, like, you know, we open, like, in meter, in media rest, which legit means in the middle of the story. Properly trained. I guess I pass. Good job. I am very properly trained. <laughs> oh, my God. You look so, 
like that legit means in the middle of the story. It's actually very common for movies to start that way because you start in like and you get a clip mm-hmm. of the action, and then you go back to you know a few hours before to kind of be like, okay, now that we've got you hooked. Oh, hello. What? I that camera. Do we do with this? How did it get out? Oh, it's out of its box. Are they his shooting movies now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Oh. 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 Did you just get an alert from something? Oh, oh, thank you, Tony. Tony, Tony 464274, four, four, thank you for following. Thank you. We, have, we apologize if we do not respond too, too much to um, um, any comments you leave. We can't really see the, the um, comment bar for some reason. It, it usually works hey, in this, but... Oh. Hey, I'm getting my phone. Oh, all that Angel is getting her phone to make sure that we can see any comments that you might leave. Also, thank you, and we hope you enjoyed that little um, printing Sunny Star Scout. Oh, look, look. What? You're live. Really? You don't say. <laughs> it's just so funny to me whenever I get the notification. Hello. Mm-hmm. Uh. <coughs> oh, boy. Okay, oh, no. Control. Control. Mm-hmm. Wahoo. Okay. All right. We are... Charged. Well, mostly. Mm. I am. Uh, uh, Tony, um, you can see, you can, I think, see a, a link to my Discord on my main channel. Um, so you can use that to join to join it, and I will try to give you a roll after the stream. Um, and perhaps that's a better perhaps that's a better spot to talk about um his offer yeah. is on the Discord. Yeah. Okay. Or just you know like the. You know, just think about things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, reach. Yeah, so if you want, uh, his uh, his Discord should be attached somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It should be attached on my um Twitch channel somewhere. Yeah, reach out through that. That'll be a better um. That'll be a better um time to keep going. So yeah. We, but for the meantime, we hope you just enjoy the rest of the stream and whatever the heck is happening with this movie camera. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I know. It's just thing. Oh. Well, bye bye. Oh, wee! We have widescreen. It's starting in switch platform. Oh my god. Oh, we even have widescreen. Oh my god, she's even got the action movie dialogue. What the hell? This is amazing. Does she know? Like, does she realize what's happening? Because that's great. have their own cart.
That's something you normally do. That. Remember when you talked to plants? You really enjoy talking to plants. Well, that was part of the job. I know that was part of the job, but she's like, why am I talking? So is this. Yep. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. No. Ah, damn it. No. Hey, this is part of the job too. She's a she is the director with the head with the hedron resistance like with innate hedron resistance. This is her job, so she's allowed to talk to cameras as much as she wants to. Yes. Also, I will say I love the music during this part. Yeah, this, this is really cool. I just wonder who and who in the world around me was just like, hey, you know what this like you know altered you know, this altered reality. Um, Astral plane threatening the, uh, you know, um, like threatening the bureau and everything. Oh, this <laughs> 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 you know, just need a like a uh, a neon tech action card sequence, some cheesy action one, action one. One-liner. Yeah. I can't talk today. It's a miracle. I even remember when you remember when you said I was getting too into the uh, my fun stuff parody song. So I forgot my own lyrics. It's a miracle I came up with any lyrics at all. Whoa. Nope. You okay? Oh, I'm okay, I think. Yeah, I think you lost a little bit of health, but not much. Okay. Yeah, I thought I jumped at the right time, but I guess I had to be levitated. Miracle I can talk at all. Third act villain. Third act villain. <laughs> that is the most generic name for a hiss ever, yeah, but I love it. But at the same time, it's also so specific too. Because let's face it, could you even Talk about the sky, it's only the third act villain and not pick up this specific portion of the, of the game? No. <laughs> I blame Sam Wake for this. I don't know if he's responsible, but. Honestly, after the whole um, the story of the journey, journey of Alan Wake the musical, I absolutely believe that yes, he could be possible. He could be. You know, responsible for this. At the very least, but here's the thing, even if he wasn't, he definitely saw this and was like, approved. I am here for this. Come on, baby. Thank you, got it. I think you got it. I'm glad I came back down for this. That was fun. I know, that was really fun. <sighs> what? We're back? We're back. Did that really just happen? It felt like a dream. Or maybe a bad movie. Don't worry, honey, it was a great movie. You are a star. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go to collectibles and see if there's any case files on it. Uh... Movie camera procedures, here we go. Uh, containment procedure, the item should be isolated from any person or event that is objectively interesting since its effect is activated by the presence of dramatic incidents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, description, a movie camera used to make commercial uh, commercial feature films. Internal mechanisms are unremarkable. Subjects near the item will often experience a torqued version of reality uh, resembling a heightened drama and action of a movie. Whether these events are localized alternative, alternate realities or the products of hallucination are currently unknown. Additionally, this item seems to record footage in, from the incidents and creates VHS copies edited in the style of short films. Uh, during their investigation, agents learned that a podcast titled Brian, Brian's Movie Den uh, reviewed the item-generated movie delivery disaster. The podcast's creator, Brian Hennerman, was taken for questioning. The staff of Movie Night, the store Mr. Hennerman rented the film from, were also questioned to no effect. Mm. Which is fair. So I guess so. I guess what we did witness was legit a um, you know like what like what we like what we witnessed and what Brian witnessed was a legit rabbit dog chase sequence. Yeah. Style as a short film. But then, the, then you know this blessed organization got their hands on it and produced it as a movie. And yes, there are no credits, but the fact that Brian, but the fact that Brian seems to know. What is your code doing? Um, that the, the fact that Brian seemed to know that they are the ones who are responsible for making it 
it's an incapacity. It tells me that they're that they marketed this somehow. They branded it somehow. Yeah. So here's a place that not only is sending a fondue kit for um you know to the radio shows that kill its producers, is that they also oh, they also are you know taking a dangerous altered item that is basically creating late real life snuff films and being like, hey, I'm gonna put my name on that. It's like, what are you doing with your life? Movie camera supplement. Item first came to the Bureau's attention after a hospitalized mailman from blank Kansas or Arkansas yeah. um, claimed his injuries had been caused by a movie camera. Further investigation connected the cause the incident to AI-80, which has been shipped in a mail truck at, which was seen being shipped in a mail truck at the time. The packaged camera was later found in an empty warehouse. The return address led the agent to a P.O. box located in the San Fernando Valley belonging to the company called Blessed Pictures. Whether Blessed Pictures is involved in the creation and dissemination of the item's VHS films is unknown. The following is a list of known films believed to have been shot by the item. Shoot first, die last, unreleased, coffee bullet, Billy's first car, bike hard, and delivery disaster. Mm -hmm. Bike hard sounds like a parody of like die hard. Mm -hmm. Item was used in filming of an unreleased western in 1968 on an Italian island of Sardina. A cast member was killed during an onset accident, stopping production. It is believed that Blessed Pictures brought, bought the camera when equipment from the shoot was sold at auction. Okay. All right. So here's at least the at least that poor delivery man is alive. At least yes. he was at the time of the recording, and since that was after everything, I imagine that he he seems stable enough to talk. So that's a good sign. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's clear. Shift account number three. It's clear no one is coming. Coming. We are running out of ideas and supplies. We tried going into the caves to find anything edible, but all we found were noxious gases and endless pits. The crystals only let us go one way, even though we could see the cave branched out. We did find some weird spiky pillar. I only got a glimpse of it before the astral spikes attacked. There were a few of them this time. We lost a lot of people. There are only six of us left. We didn't ask for this. We didn't want to come down here. I'm convinced something brought us here. The others say I'm going nuts, but it's clear that this was no house shift. Shifts slide a bathroom one sector over or rotate a hallway. They don't drop full divisions into some caves. We were brought here, I know it. But for what? Why tear us away from our lives just to torture us? If this is some sort of test or mission, then here's some advice for whoever's running it. Give up clearer instructions next time. I hope these notes are a good read for what for whoever Ranger finds them. F you. Put that in your report, Gibbs. I can understand his frustration. Yeah. That was actually a that was actually a woman. What what is the person oh. say? I thought it was an Annabelle Oh um, yeah, maybe. Can you go back actually to your documents? I wanna see it, she said her first name in the uh, first um, document. No. Um. Uh, wait, how sh uh, shifts? Yeah, there we go. Shifts account. Uh, Janine, Janine, not Annabelle. Yeah. That was very off. But yeah. Janine. Yes. Yes. We're entity A or B, or neither. Let's just stay the course for now. Right. The bureau's in danger. We know we need to repair the nail. The astral plane will break reality on my watch. I think she had a little too much fun with the movie camera. Mm -hmm. That was that was such a good one, Lyra. Ah, here we go. Okay, we found the next giant. There's the etching. Stone etching of doom. Yes. Oh, which works for friend. Boop. Melon. <laughs> A recent confrontation, yelling was an error. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to determine you may have both tools slash upgrades. Oh, well, thank you very much. Only because you are the favorite slash current director. Aww. But do not listen or speak to the former. You are welcome slash grateful. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Oh. Well, I have to admit that there's something kind of funny. Like, you are the favorite slash current director. Like, yeah, let's face it. You guys like her. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so now we not only need to break part of it, we also need to. Oh. Oh god. We also need to break part of it. 
Yeah, we need to like regrow parts of it. And then break off the extras to smooth mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty fun. Well, that's like, I was like, we, like, I basically, can we just appreciate this, basically, like, you know, this big astral, like, alien. Yeah, nearly whole slash fix. Your trust of synergy is, is appreciated. They sure changed their tune all of a sudden. Yeah, really. Yeah, and I think that if you actually um, get the other power first, when you come to this one, it'll mm -hmm. just have you grow in different parts of it. Because you physically can't break it. Yeah. So it, like, changes them depending on which order you go through. Makes sense. There is something that's a lot of fun. Thinking this whole board former thing. No, you're they not. They can honey. sort out their own business, so long as it doesn't get in my way. Obsessing over these problems is something Trench would do. Okay, but that's But I've got my intuition. And you. Aww. Sorry, you were about to say? I have to admit, like, I, what, she does make sense, you know, because Trench, what, you know, turned up the control freak and stuff, so she's trying not to be that way. But I do have to admit, you know, I think it's fair to be at least curious, slash, trying to figure it out, like, what the heck is going on between the mm -hmm. former and the board who, you know, are major, form, are major sources of power in this weird world that she has adopted as her own and is now in charge of. Mm -hmm. Especially, and also especially since too, you know, they are both actively interacting with her during this mission. So it's not, mm -hmm. un, so it's not unfair. It's like, no, you are definitely allowed to do this. <laughs> but if you want to also be like, hey, you guys can sort your crap out. You do not need my help. Mm -hmm. That's also fair. After me, yeah, I do like that, uh, that, that, oh, hi! Where would a cat be? In a box, of in course! In Also, that cat is red. Yep, they're each a different one. And, then, um, and look, the nail is almost back to full size. Ooh! Look at that epic ramp. <gasps> Coming through! I'm late! <laughs> now that's one way to greet, that's one way to re-greet your favorite science girl. Mm-hmm. Hi, Emily, don't mind me just being, you know, like, overly dramatic superhero landing, as I do. Okay, and now I'm going to travel... Um, I'm going to travel back to Cave System, because it, it looks like there's a bunch of question marks near mm -hmm. there, so I want to see what's inside. Probably confusion. Well, of course there's going to be confusion, but... It's control, or the, of course there's going to be confusion because there's question marks. Yeah. I kind of, I mean, I kind of, kind of set you up for that, really. Please. Yes. We still have to figure out where the hell Marshall is. Although she, although honestly, <laughs> she's in the place where she can use the hot one, so that doesn't exactly bode well. No. Wee. Chasm. Oh, that's great. The Federal Bureau of Control, Department of Workplace Security. Okay, I have to admit, I just love that the, um, whoever is down here doing this stuff, which is a, this is apparently a very hard place to get to. And, you know, you probably need, like, you know, to know a secret back door, like, this place is classified all, all up the wazoo. But, that did not stop somebody from coming down here and being like, not only am I going to put up a sign that says this is the chasm, I'm going to make sure they know who put up that sign in the first place. I'm like, bro, you don't huh? need to, oh, you don't need to be on the... Use the altered item to escape the chasm, it says. Oh. Let's read this first. Mm -hmm. VHS tape supplement. This item's creation is the source of much research and debate. It was a product of the Bureau's first attempts to film blank entity A-001 during Operation Shallow Tide. An agent was able to conceal themselves in an area frequented by Ate, uh, which they point, at which point they began filming. The agent reported that the video camera showed no signs of disturbance during the filming. Later, when, revi when reviewing the footage, the research staff became mesmerized by the altered effects. Measures were taken and altered evaluation began. Never before have Bureau personnel been so closely involved in the creation of an altered item. The experiment was quickly replicated, though not with the same results. The footage is simply useless in every subsequent attempt. This event spawned a great debate as to whether the altered items 
are created by paranatural entities, intentionally or otherwise. Similar experiments were prohibited at, soon after. See the Ash Act for details. As the creation of altered materials was deemed an action the Bureau should not engage in. I, yeah. it, it sounds like they were actually trying to spy on Alti, and they know that he is not you know, what he, mm -hmm. what he appears to be, but, wow, it didn't work. No, it didn't work. And also, is that a containment box down there that was yes. just, like, open? Yes. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go get the altered item. And put it back. Yep. Also, there is something a little interesting, too, about, uh, you know, just, that was messing with so many... Maybe I should have thought this through. 19, 1978, I think the, the tag was. So, Octi has been in this establishment for like a light. Another 40 years. TV. Hello. Oh, it, it is Octi. It's. Hi, Octi. It's him, just, you know, going around mopping. Uh, oh. Oh. Is that a hit? I think it's one of the um, enemies that like lives down here, at least. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's so... It's mesmerized by this thing. Like, that's what it means. It's yeah. kind of like, walks to a place. Wasn't there one of the other... Ah, look at them! <laughs> yep, which means that I can now use this, though, to hopefully get out of here, because it acts as a light. Mm -hmm. so dark. And I, it'll... How am I supposed to drag this thing out of here? If I use it, oh god, hello. And stunning everybody with it. Hello. <laughs> just, oh my god. Just having a good time. You know, just mopping and singing. Whoa. This What's is fine, it? Jesse. You're okay. Just don't drop the TV. Don't drop the TV. Oh, look! It's you... even. It's, it's stopping the thing. Look, the it just. Spike? Yeah, look, it's, it becomes like a little ball. I love that. Jesse just kind of like came running in. Like, it got dark. She's like, oh crap. She grabbed the TV. She's like, okay, this is what we're doing now. That's. Alright, everything is just fine. Everything is just fine. I just have a TV with my janitor balls. Wee! Mopping around. Oh, I'll take back! Okay. It's okay, Ati. I wasn't expecting that. I'm sorry, Ati. Oh! Ati! <laughs> I thought he made it, he made it. What? Why are we talking about this guy like he's the actual Ati? I guess for all intents and purposes, he very well could be. Ati himself may be an altered item. Did you ever... Yeah, never... That actually would explain a heck of a lot if he really was. Mm hmm. Okay, my goodness, she threw she, mm -hmm. she doesn't do things by half, she just like grabs it and she yeets it. Yes, hello. Befriend my janitor boss. Mopping. Mopping the floor with his little Walkman. Doing archie things. Hi. Hi everybody. I wonder if these are the id that were mentioned. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna need to drop you, Auti, real quick. Uh, just keep them distracted for me. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're good. We are good. We are good. Okay, everything's fine. Okay. Oh, careful. Oh, Jesse, no. Jesse, Jesse, please. There we go. Auti once again gets you through an impassable terrain by being himself. Yeah. It is interesting though that it's like, yeah, we can't film Auti of all things. Or at least we can't film. I mean, they tried again and they really it didn't happen again, so there was something special about this particular moment that led it to becoming an altered item. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, um, Auti, come here, please. Auti, please. Thank you. <laughs> it just walked away. We're talking to the oh. television. About Auti. Oh. Ah. Sorry, that was my fault. I hit the wrong button. 
There we go. ceiling now. Uh, well, no, no, not. Hello. These guys are the end. I mean, we kind of knew that they became hostile if that is the case of what mm -hmm. happened. We mm -hmm. still don't exactly know the reason why. Yeah. According to, um, um, the, um, Theodore Ash Jr. and his records, I mean, they were Polite, quiet, gentle. Yeah. And he got along with them pretty well. Or at least was fond enough of them to, uh, you know, gain them and, oh, no. whoa, hello, and feel, uh, you know, sad when they died. Mm -hmm. Or something turned hostile, or like they did turn hostile and then he had to, uh, kill them. Good boy. Good job. Everything's good. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. <sighs> you love that Jessie just basically yeeted herself down the hole and she's like, oh wait, I should have thought this through. Yeah. Okay, we're doing fine, Jessie. Just don't stop the TV. Don't stop the TV. Take your balls. <laughs> I love that. She's the director, mm -hmm. but Artie is the real, um... Is the real boss here. <laughs> you know, I would love to see Artie try to, like, I would love to see what the, uh, um, board say. Like, here's the thing. The, um, the board may be her boss on paper. As much as, you know, in, like, you know, extra planar, you know, mm -hmm. astral realm, unknowable entities. Can like be. a pyramid can be anybody's coherent boss. But Ati is her real boss. Remember what I said? I knew I picked a good assistant. <laughs> yeah. I was just wondering though, why is the TV at the bottom of this chasm? Were they trying to get rid of it or something? I mean... Was it moved there by the buildings? By a building shift? Could be. Could have been moved by a building shift. Because if everybody... There's a way out. Up there. If everybody who watches it becomes entranced by it... Um does back at the cell. Thank God. Um footage, good job. It's entirely I mean I guess it could be that people are like, you know what, this is too dangerous and we can't destroy it, we have to get rid of it somehow. Or it could have been, or something else could have been going on because, you know, somehow the people who were so entranced by it, you know, gotta, ended up down here somehow. Hmm. Hi, Rick. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That was like a coffee cup thing going on right there. Ah. <laughs> that was a yeah. Saga Casey coffee cup exchange, except with hydration. Yeah. And now we're off to the last area of the foundation. Oh, wow. Or, like, the last, like, big area. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be one more area, small <laughs> area, once we... Ah, yes. Actually, let's talk to Emily real quick. Did he just say, try not to launch at me, director? If it isn't my favorite uh, director. Maybe. Aww. The nail is almost repaired. You really do have a knack for this kind of work. Aw, hi, hi. Nothing to report. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I do think that, that I do think that happened as the guy was just like, try not to launch at me as though like this is totally normal. Which yeah. is fair considering, you know, everybody who Oh hello. That's that's interesting. Look, it's the pyramid people almost like worshipping it and then there's 
That looks, former. Yeah, that does look like the former. Kind of like in that weird centipede mm -hmm. spider bug way that he is. Mm. Assuming it is a he, I, I think probably it or that is probably a bit, It or that, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a bit better because it doesn't seem like... Well, I mean, yeah. the boards seem to be like, while they show as a singular unit, there's something about the boards that... It seems as though they should. Uh, they talk in plural. They talk in plural. Plural pronouns. So it almost feels right to like talk about them in plural pronouns because it seems like to be like there's multiple like. It almost feels like a hive mind, you know? Like there may be mm. multiple units, but they share a single consciousness. Yeah. Uh, basically, basically, but or just you know with less assimilation. What the former seems to be is a singular. And yeah. a singular consciousness. Jesse, you need to... I'm gonna wait for all of them to grow back. Mm -hmm. And then... Woo! Beautiful! That's, that's satisfying. <laughs> Always satisfying to shoot a rocket. Whee! Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure it meant for me to do that, but yeah, I did the other legit, one. You legit, I mean, how come that this is kind of funny? Those battery cells are usually not that close to the spot they're going to go. There's something funny, like if you bother to put the battery into the cell, why not just put it into the into the socket? When you were right there, all you had to do was move it a li literal foot. And you did it. Yeah. Alright, and we are now... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hello. We're now in the warehouse. A very tall warehouse with floating enemies up there. Oh. I didn't even realize that I was looking at the, like, the nice little ribbony thingy up there. Oh, those are the sure people, aren't they? No. Oh, they're not. Oh! Oh, hello! Those See? No chair sure to be found. At least not off of that guy. Ah! Ah, he missed! Jesse, hit him! Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Thank you. Ow. Ow. It's okay, there's a safe point right here. Ow! Ah. What is hitting me now? You may need to run to it. Run fast. Oh, it's just another guy. There we go. I think... I think... We are done with the action movie section of this. Don't taunt the enemies as good of one-liners as they have. Don't taunt the enemies, especially when they can do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> let's face it, if you taunt, like, look, if you fight somebody and they kill you, that's all, that's rough. But if you taunt somebody and then they still kill you, that's just embarrassing. Now, Jesse, I need you to destroy some of the old mods, not, you know, stand there yeah. and dance around in a circle or whatever the heck it is she was doing. Mm hmm. Imagine if I could put the blast radius mod on my pistol so that way every shot was an explosive shot. Excuse me. You would have no. You would lose track of what was happening so fast. End up killing myself, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you. I got Is this a bureau ID badge? Oh. It looks so old. Oh, that's... Hope will definitely want to see this. Oh. Should we go back and talk to her? I, can we at least, like, does it get show, like, an image or something so you can see what it is? I don't think so. Aww. Well, we'll head back to the crossroads real quick. It's just, a, I, think, I think it's just, like, a small quest in this area to gather a bunch of the ID cards. Oh, that's adorable. I don't know if I'm going to actively pursue getting all of them just because they're very small and hard to find. Yeah. Here, let's go and I already found it once already. Go show it off to your girlfriend. Jesse, you're back. So did you find anything noteworthy? The original bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or... More accurately, the rangers found them for me. <laughs> Are you starting a collection? She totally is. I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. 
except for bureau staff from the 60s. Mm. Yeah. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. Oh. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. <laughs> Want to keep it, Emily? Yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like oh. Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. Mm. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Oh okay, God. maybe we should do Here, it. <laughs> take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Oh my god. So keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. Okay, so we are gonna <laughs> do that quest, I guess, because I want to see what's in the secret lab. Five, five ID cards. All right, now here's the question. Do you want me to use my phone to look up where they are? Or do you want Not to, yet. Do you want to spend some time searching around? Spend some time searching first. It was so cute. Was, um, she's like, oh, they're like kind of like baseball cards. It's like, like I'm going for a full set. It's like, I kid. But they are kind of like baseball cards if you think about it. And then Jesse, Jesse's little smile in, in those are like, they're kind of cute, but she also looks a little bit awkward. But she just, she was like, a rare one. That's like, I'm playing into this because it's making you happy and I love it. Ooh. The, uh, the oldest house has revealed much for me during my months in the foundation, but many questions remain. Primarily, the tree etchings be bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime as I've theorized, then the tree is its first form? It is the tree. Then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to the short the Schwartzman building in search of pre-settlement accounts found in Manhattan Island. Uh, from those, I discovered a single relevant line, and there I found a tree not known to me, the devil twisted within its bark. That line, taken with the fact that certain American cultures believe that some trees would offer wisdom and guidance, uh, is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence, and though I am now bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees, Yggdrasil, the Tree of Knowledge, Yemex, Imix, J. Uh, some cultures offered blood sacrifice to trees, while others claimed trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murders uh, act as a sacrifice for the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is, is it me? Hmm. Okay, well that took a turn. After the third thing on this, the third thing on this list, the thing that I once again very painfully and probably incorrectly pronounced, almost sounded like the fish language. <laughs> I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. Also, it's like, oh yes, do New York City's many murders, like you know, like a legit every single murder acts as a sacrifice to the tr to the tree, whether it's the people know it or not. I estimate is kind of fascinating, but also terrifying. If the answer is at all, yes. Because it means that the oldest house would then be perpetrating the murders across New York City. Or profiting off of them, at least. Which yeah. isn't exactly pleasant. And that could be why it's so big, so powerful, so weird, and so inhuman, and sometimes just like... I mean, like, for the most part, the agents have been okay. Like, the oldest house, like, messes, messes around with them and weird stuff happens. But most of the deaths and injuries and stuff like that happen because of altered items. So, in but in the case of like you know um, Gibbs's um, note, note you know the the oldest house, whether consciously or through a shift, brought them down there with no means of escape and no means of contacting the outside world or nothing. And that is, definitely seems a lot more than what the shifts seem to do. Especially since we haven't properly seen them. I mean... The closest we got was the beginning of the game when suddenly there's an elevator. Yep. 
And also that also a reference from that one um, that one uh, what's it called? Um, Threshold Kids episode where uh, Mr. Bones talked about uh, the kid getting stuck in his room for three days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, on the pyramid and geometry. I've been going through my library, researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does relate to the board, as Northmore says, then perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three-part concepts, past, present, future, mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also also implies multiple parts. Oh my god, I wish she was talking about that. That's a little creepy. Um, upright triangles in Judo Christian imagery indicate ascent into the rational slash divine realm. Inverted, it signifies a descent into the corporeal slash human realm. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine, Adam and Eve. That's just a bit of old world patriarchy. It's 1964 now and we are well past that silliness. Uh, considering the above, what does the inverted triangle tell us about the board? They're clearly not corporeal or human. Perhaps they wish to be, or they once were. The likeliest answer is simply that the theological imagery cannot help us define alien art entities. But still, the pyramid seems significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. I wonder if because he brought up the, out the out of the Eve, um, you know, story, if that has anything to do with um, the fact that he named one of the kids Lilith. Maybe. And ID number two. Oh, oh. place to leave an ID card, but okay. Oh uh, yeah. I I I feel like forgetting it in a bunk isn't the we- the weirdest possible thing. No, really. Especially you know someone could be sit- someone could have been like sitting down and. You just find another one. Oh, another ID card. Yep, yep, you did. For a cartographer. Well, this is actually easier than you would have thought. Ooh, Doctor Ash. Uh, as chief executive excavation officer, it's my job to support the research team. So I got you your machine for that ridiculous sand research project. However, it is also my responsibility to ensure the safety of my crew. Do you know how many trips it took? to get an entire bulldozer down here piece by piece. And do you know how many of my guys we lost in those trips? Here's a hint, two effin' many. Oh my god, the subject is out of your damn mind. Which brings me to my point, I'm writing you today because this, because of the request form that just landed in my desk. Apparently you want a lightweight one or two man military grade helicopter for the purpose of surveying the vast expanse of columns by air. I bet you didn't even stop to wonder how much time, money, effort, and blood this toy would cost us. Well, no, sir. I am sorry, but I will not subject my men to another month of marching through that death trap upstairs. For Christ's sake, these people have families, and not that they ever get to see them anymore. Request denied, Lois McNary. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I can understand his frustration, especially when someone wants to bring a goddamn helicopter down here. But especially after all the pain that the bulldozer thing caused, and how 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 is it that Lewis McNary somehow became one of the most reasonable adults in the bureau? I don't know. Like that was kind of amazing. Um... Okay, I think that there is a way to. I think this might be where we head down, but it's not, not yet, because we gotta start messing around with the elevators first. Uh, I'm having a, I'm having a brain fart. The, um, this, remember the sand that Dr. Different sand, different sand. Damn it, I was wondering if that was also red. It is, but it's, but that was from an alternate world. Security chief. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Okay, so we're only missing one ID card, Mm. so. Be a cartographer, which I think is interesting. We... I mean, it does make some sense. Yeah. Depending on what's going on here. Hello. Yeah. Okay. And okay, I can head in over here. Have I gone this way yet? I Ooh. think this might just be the way that leads me back to the main area. Mm-hmm. Yes. This just leads me to the crossroads. Uh, but I can at very least unlock this. Door. 
da 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 Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find the ID card that way. And we still have to go through this area regardless. So we're off. Days oh. now spent inside what we're calling the oldest house. Northmore insists on the name. I'm too tired to ask why. I'm not no, sleeping. No, he does sound exhausted. Per orders, me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the foundation. I basically move down here now, like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. Aww. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The narrow, right? The yeah. work was half-hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Oh, that's a mouthful. Ley lines, mm -hmm. dragon roads, Heiligalinian, call them what you want. But this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something. Equal parts talisman and technology. An array that can impose order on the lay junctions. That's the idea, at least. We'll see when I'm done. I wonder if that's what led to the I development of the control the points. Pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes. No, oh, don't shoot it. Oh, you shot next to it, but still, don't do that. Yep. Woo. Now we can look for the last ID later. For now, we are going to begin our ascent. Uh. <laughs> that was wrong, button. Oh my god. Am I at the warehouse entrance? Oh yes, I yeah, am, apparently. Yeah, I, I was wondering if you had run around punching too many things and the game was confused. But no. now, you ran around punching things and then you yourself got confused. Yes. Oh, and we need a power core for that, so. Oh, look, a book. Power core. Oh, after numerous attempts, I finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy at the ley lines in a kind of non aristotelian battery I dubbed the power core. I admit it was difficult capturing an energy I could barely measure, much less interact with. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the foundation's caverns possesses such conductive qualities. Using stone flakes and copper wires, my power cores collect significant power. My early, my early prototypes collected too much, in fact, but I've since reinforced the container. That means a lot of things in Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yet know the repercussions of tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy sources. It is my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an, an interest in invention. I like the creativity that it allows, set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics. Father never approved, calling it a mundane science. Well, with that in mind, I dedicate this in invention to Theodore Ash Sooner Senior, may he scowl in peace. <laughs> okay, so that actually explains how the power cubes came to work. Okay, so a lot of these are broken ones. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You're glowing, hello. <laughs> okay, is there anything else in here? I was thinking like, huh, that one power core. And like for whatever reason, was not interested in you, in you smacking it in the face. Well, a lot of these are, right? but I also see another one that's glowing. So we're gonna take that with us in case we need to bring it upstairs. But normally, when you do, you, normally when you do smack it in the face, it at least works. In that case, it's like, no, you are not doing this. I refuse. Stop shooting it! You already gave it what it wants. Leave it alone. I'm shooting the wall. Oh, it looks like there was another area down there that I couldn't quite get to. Maybe that's your secret secret lab. No, it was that's at the base of the thing. And I think that I think that whatever it was just kind of let me that uh, was my train of thought. I think that I can get to it if I go further down. 
Oh, that worked. Oh my god, it did work. What the hell? There's fire extinguishers down here. I love that. That was kind of amazing. Entry day plus oh. 51. Northmore has ordered an all hands search for objects similar to the service weapon. He claims there are more in the house. Though I don't see how he's so certain. He's been strange lately. Talking about joining greater causes and frequently mentioning the pyramid. Oh boy. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, black, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other id have shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. Surely there's a connection. I don't see it yet. As far as occult symbols go, triangles are by no means rare. That's fair. It's like Levi Kroll, they use that shape like it was going out of fashion. <laughs> Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. Inverted on their points, they represent conflict and stagnation. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one, from above, another. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? Hmm. Oh, that's insightful. It also makes me think a little bit about the Triforce, of all things, because if you think about it, it, the standard way you look at the Triforce, when all the pieces are together, all of those pyramids are standing upright. And that's the thing, though all the triforce so really easy. Um, broken bridges across. Mm -hmm. Because like even though the three wielders of the triforce historically have always been in strife, you know, the idea is that if someone who has a balanced heart therefore has that stability can wield the full power of one of a united triforce. But I also but it's also kind of um, funny because I remember what you and I were talking about at one point where, you know, Link has courage and Zelda has wisdom, Gandalf has power, and power is on the top one. Um, I, I, re I remembered, um, what was it? I remember that you see used to be in your mind that even though, in, at least in the older games he was, even though Link was left-handed, he had the bottom right part of the Triforce, and Zelda, even though she's right-handed, has the bottom right part of the Triforce, so I thought it was kind of... You mean bottom left? Yeah, bottom left. Um, I thought that was interesting. And then what I thought was even more interesting was the uh, fact that the power one, which seems to be the most unstable, considering Gandorf's everything really it's the one that's balanced on top and it while it may be that you know he is more powerful his position is actually much less stable because he's balancing on the points of two other circles that the girls talking about that was like ow ow significant and then he gets shot <laughs> Oh, Jesse, okay. Oh, uh, Jesse, you were supposed to shoot that when he was on it. There's... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, no, he, he dodged it. He stayed on it. Really? Oh, no, don't you hate it when your don't you hate it when your fiance is waxing poetical about triangles in a Zelda game and then you get ambushed and then you die? <laughs> That's a very specific scenario, <laughs> sweetheart. And I bet it's one that you really hate, isn't it? Yes, but I don't think anyone in the audience can can you know sympathize because they don't have such a such an experience. They don't have to they don't have to relate to it. I can sympathize for you with something. There we go. That that gives me a little bit more room. Sniper's taken out. Yep, you got your health back too. That's good. 
Got rid of him pretty quickly that time. I like you said cavern. I meant to say cavern. <laughs> not to be confused with cabin, because you're not in the plane, you're probably... You're not in a plane, you're probably in like the exact opposite of the That looks like something right out of Delta Rune over there. Hello! Oh god. But that does also... I'm pretty sure that's meant to be something with the former, considering the former has had all of those... Like, you I don't have the eyeballs. Either that, or... Oh, maybe it's the clog. Oh! Oh, hey! Marshall! Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail? Yeah. What the hell was she thinking? Yeah. Like, like she may not have mm. known about the whole, like, cosmic consequences. Astral bleed thing. Uh oh. The hiss got in. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. Yeah. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. Okay. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. Probably not, no. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's she chair. Know. Yeah. She doesn't know. He never told her. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. Oh. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. Oh, well, damn. She really had no idea. No, Why was it no she didn't. And, and she died. Either from the explosion or soon afterwards, fighting whatever hiss remained around her. Unless the hiss got to her. Yeah. She could be a, you think that she could be a big hiss taken like some of the other mini bosses we've had? No idea. Oh, maybe your health supplement. Hello. Uh, per archival mandates uh, 8A, this document has been edited to meet our current administrative standards. Uh, certain, technolo certain terminology may be out of date. This is from 1958. That's cool. Um, the retrieval, the retrieved material was subjected to Felstrom's array, configuration 74B, but the tests were halted as the matter began to physically elude the equipment. Attempts to constrain the elements were made, but under further stress, it became vaporous. The researchers suffered corrosive injuries prior to their deaths. The child victims at Meteor Hill recounted the material enveloping them in a pleasant manner upon making contact, but when discovered, they were blank and screaming. Bodily changes were perceived immediately, deformities, loss of pigment in the skin and hair, and mental symptoms sur um, surfaced in subsequent examination, confusion, heightened aggression. The Department of Public Knowledge and Divisions, Diversions gave statements claiming the incident was caused by debris from poorly made Russian satellite, which the public accepted with no complications, because this must have been Cold War stuff. Mm -hmm. The children were sent to the Bureau's recuperation facility, blank, to receive help away from society. That almost sounds like some sort of radiation. Yeah. And the fact that it seems to kind of give them a nice, you know, like, pleasant thing, but in reality they were in a lot of pain and screaming. Mm -hmm. it's, how is it that like that's obviously awful like no matter what happened the fact that the kids were in pain it's like and what it did to them was obviously mm -hmm. terrible no matter what but there's something that's kind of odd about the way it uh it, like 
almost. Nope. Let me say nice, but there's something curious about the fact that when it grabbed onto them and held them, it made it it made it feel pleasant. Mm -hmm. And it kind of shielded them from knowing what was happening. Yeah. Oh, there we go. No, no Jesse. Curious as to why, if it's like it's easy, if it's easier to, for it to like feed on them for whatever it was doing, or if it was trying to make a connection somehow and just I don't know. I don't know either. But we do have a circle up here, so I'm going to go to that and then I'm going to drop back down because I think I saw something. Hey! There are some satellites down at these control points, but there's I'm more seeing more of those um like little rock stacks. I think they're called cairns. And you know, you kind of disrupt them when you click when you claim the control point. Aha! I knew it. Oh, is that the last ID? ID card was for an excavation engineer. Why did so many people abandon their cards down here? They probably died or lost them. They are really small. Yeah. Ooh. Per our oh yes, uh, same same thing yeah. about terminology. This paradimensional occurrence uh, consisted of three sequential sinkholes introduced by subterranean implosions, revealing foreign material of mag of magmatic qualities. The local chapter of Youth Science League were participating in an archaeological dig on the hill when the event occurred. Many boys were injured in the resulting collapse. Some touched the magma directly. Uh, Bureau agents arrived at the scene seven days after the incident. Samples of the lava-like material were taken. The area was quickly sealed off from the public at our recommendation. Our aim was to ensure all remnants of the material were rendered inoffensive, but the magma descended too deeply into the earth to retrieve. Foul-smelling odors were detected in the area, which were hypothesized uh, being the dissipated elements vapor trail left at the scene. All acquired material was delivered to Washington for examination in the Bureau's on-site laboratories. That kind of sounds like those like geyser vents that you're finding in here. A little bit, except much more dangerous. Mm -hmm. I forgot what I was talking about. Sorry. Yeah, I think it was probably something about that, uh, what you called. Um. Probably about that weird presence stuff. Yeah. Like, I, there's, some, like, there's, there's something where it's, like, it's either feeding on the kids and making it easier, or it's trying to form some sort of kid. Yeah. And I'm not sure what is creepier, and I'm not sure which is better, honestly. Because on one hand, you know, if the entity was trying to actually, like, connect with the children for whatever reason, on one hand, that's less creepy because that's, um, oh, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about the rocks. Sorry. Um. I'll come back. The, uh... I'm gonna, like, I'm wondering that would be a little less creepy since obviously there's less color in the But it's also kind of more creepy because even though it's not trying to be more harmful, it ends up being harmful. And that's really kind of unsettling. But, alternatively, if it was trying to just feed on the kid, it would be like, you know, quiet. That's a little more creepy because you're like, hey, you know, you're behaving like a predator. But at the same time, it's also, there's something that's kind of simple about it. It's being Yes, the rocks. I remember now I was talking about those little rock sacks. 
There are some satellites at the control points down here, but you're more likely to see those rock cairns. I wonder if mm -hmm. they're meant to perform a similar um, thing where you kind of stabilize the energies around the control points. I don't know. I don't either. Like that one, I don't think had any uh, um, satellites around it at all. But some of them only had like one, maybe two, whereas the ones upstairs have several. Yeah. Well, I can imagine that down here, the it it needs less stabilization just mm -hmm. because of you know this this area isn't shifting. Mm -hmm. But I wonder why they. Uh, then I wonder why they're there. Maybe to maybe in the one that we just saw, it's there to mark it because I didn't see a satellite at all. But some of them do have satellites and also the rock piles. Yeah, so. well, just because just because they don't necessarily um, need it to stop the shifting doesn't mean that there isn't some purpose to having it. Like he was talking about, you know, like gathering the energy for the power cubes. These the rocks. Yep. So it could very well be something like that. Oh, hello. Machine room, upper warehouse. So, oh, there we go. Oh, you go. Oh, ah, there's a box. Remind me to come back down to floor five. Okay, come back down to floor, to floor five. Hmm? Uh oh. Ah! room now. A control point. Yes, but that doesn't, that, that's all it seems to be. There doesn't seem to be anything else. Hello. Alright, this is the last one. Probably it's meant to be a quick save point bef um, before this. Maybe. Fuck it. What? Um. It's, it's oh! a trap. Ah, that was mean. Okay, this is starting to make a little bit more sense. Yes. <laughs> Hold that. Hold that. Yeah. Make some new friends. <laughs> or to pay your respects. <laughs> yeah, really. You're pressing X to pay respects. To be full, that's that is not going to work. No, it's fine. Actually, I'm not sure. So the hit actually, like you know, I guess the hits are somewhat cooperative because they kill you, not exactly as much. No, exactly the same. I guess they're both equal. All right, I think we can try that again. Yes. Once more with feeling. Okay, I, I guess that's that was like, that was like the awkward yeah. start. I guess brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. Well, she didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, cuz cuz uh French didn't know. Yeah. Well, he probably couldn't really. And if he did tell her, she probably did he yeah, even if he did. 
you know, I, I can see why she didn't necessarily trust him considering the way he acted. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if she, oh hello, I wonder if she thought that you, that she didn't tell Jesse too much about it because Jesse was A, brand new, and B, she saw what happened to French when he was the director. He did get corrupted. Um, just, you know, in a different, like, yes, the hiss got him, but I think that his own control nature. There we go. Yeah, his own control nature got messed yeah. up. The nail is just. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you got the, uh. Easy. Oh. Fuck. What happened? <gasps> I fixed it, didn't I? Were you too late? Nail, leave, end. Was she too late? Uh, let me check the missions. Are we having a, are we having a panic? Complete the ritual in the nail house. In the warehouse. In the warehouse. Yeah. Look, he did. Alright, away we go. Do what? I'm not sure, but uh. uh -oh. Over there. Uh, Can you climb up the pillar that's the closest to you? Can you climb up that one and gain the leverage to go over? No. No? Ah, damn it. Nice. Oh, they are then. Oh. Oh, I see it. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. No! And so now it says that. Okay, alright, you're okay, you're okay. Oh, now it shows me the point. Uh, of course. Well, damn. Well, they look, it's deciding to get fancy. Uh, I don't know what's happening. haven't been broken before, right? No, they have. Oh, they have been? Okay. That just looked way too ominous. Oh. Nice and gentle. There you go. Collectible. Oh, here we go. Apologies slash how embarrassing. <laughs> Astral fellow slash shades are acting hostile slash very rude. We cannot direct behavior. Oh, that's probably why the A's are getting there. Yeah, in external slash not astral region. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Promise slash fingers crossed. <laughs> so that does explain why that the id used to live in the astral plane, but now they're here. And they're acting very rude and they don't have control over them. It still seems like something triggered. The shift in their behavior since they seem like they had been living in the physical mm -hmm. world for a while before things mm -hmm. got messy. But yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, do you want to go back down to floor five before we quick transport? Oh, uh, and get that box that you saw? Or... We're going to get that, then we're going to do the secret lab class, or try to do the secret lab class. I'm not sure what, it, what it's like asking me to do for the elevator. Oh, we found another new area. Ooh! Ooh, on the four etchings. My explorations of the foundation have resulted in yet another mystery, a fascinating series of etchings on a large stone tablet. The tablets themselves are likely not native to the foundation, seeing as they are slabs of sedimentary stone, quite different from the case categorization defying rock. Their placement and form also are too intentional to be naturally occurring. 
who braved this place to carry them in? And for what purpose? I discovered a five-point macro entanglement between the tablets with the pillar at its center. These links seem to extend beyond our level of, un of consciousness to some astral realm I can't detect. Is Northmore's board somehow tied to all of this? The etchings on the, ta on the tablets were very curious. They differ from the cave paintings in style and technique, so they're clearly not of the same origin. Are they the visual narration of some event, or do they in to indicate intent, a wish, a plan? They only seem to consist of a tree and a pillar, but the sizes of each are in of either are inconsistent. What does that signify? I'm missing key pieces of the puzzle, and it's unlikely I will ever find them. Into the, I mean, when you first got into the elevator, you could kind of like only ascend one floor at a time. Mm -hmm. If the warehouse, is, if the secret lab is supposed to be underneath everything, perhaps you have to go down to floor, back down to the bottom, bottom floor, and mm -hmm. then you'll be able to progress lower. That's what I'm thinking, but uh, we'll see. We'll find a way. Oh, my goodness. The elevator won't make it come any faster. Makes me feel better. Okay. But first, oops, we <laughs> there you go. That's weird how the rocket launcher didn't do that. It killed the crap out of that painting, though. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was like only like, look, I can either break the wall or kill the painting. I can't do both. I am a single rocket launcher. What do you want from me? It's a service pistol. It has a mind of its own. The Lord only knows. Wee. And maybe I got set up with you just randomly shooting the walls of the elevator. So much so that it actively reaches time. I'm looking at your little, your little face right now. Oops. This elevator is like, what in the hell did I ever do to you? Now you're ripping rocks out of my butt. To pull around yourself, why are you like this? I want to go to the secret lab in peace after I have created an ability. Yes. I want to go to the secret lab and come back and nerd out with my girlfriend about it. Please. Please stop throwing things at me. From the layer of dust on this place, nobody's swept here in years. Why? <laughs> Not even Ati. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. There's an elevator, which I'm sure is super safe, and a space in each terminal for an ID card. But which card goes where? Okay, that looks like a whole bunch of building tools, yeah. like like shovels and stuff. Yeah. So, so I'd say maybe the yeah. excavator. I think you're right. This is cartography. Cartography. Is my guess. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Hopefully, this is an easier um, ID card puzzle than the last one. Well, it's not boring as heck. Okay, that's a lot of guns. That's so, <laughs> security. Mm -hmm. oh. Books and science. So, 
head of research, I think. And over here. These two, I feel, could be either or. Yeah. Also. Yeah, I tried switching out those last two, I guess. Hey, don't worry. The last time you jumped into a weird open open thing, you found a thing of Ati, and uh, it brought you back up. So maybe he'll be down here again if you get into too much trouble. And maybe we'll find another film camera and get to go on another epic movie chase. Yay! Now that's that's gonna be garbage. Super secret love. Super secret love. It actually is a lot easier, nicer than dart than darlings. Gentle. Nice. Okay. Don't know what that did, but hopefully it won't explode later. Hopefully it won't explode me. Hopefully it won't explode later. You shoots a vending machine. Why would they need such a heavy door down here? I don't know, but is it dangerous for you to open that heavy door? Probably. Oh! Oh my god! Love it! Okay. Possessed designer Gibbs? <gasps> Process is designer. Process is designer. This is the woman who got trapped down here. Oh. With her team. She's the one who shifts that we were reading about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, after everything that his doctor Oh, this his can shoot lasers? That's Oh hey, she must have been down here for god knows how long. I don't think it, I don't think her stuff was dated. Well, something, I expect the impression she was down here for a like, like a long time ago. Oh. Really? Oh, okay. okay, this this thing is being right. Yeah. Thing is causing more destruction than I've ever caused. Which no. is saying something. No, yeah, it's saying something, but I think that's a lie. You <clears> definitely <throat> have caused more destruction. It's just you. It's causing more destruction than you have at one time. But you have a but you have a bunch of destroyed railways and torn up floors in your way that this that this person has uh, not Oh, I think I actually hit it even when it was invisible. Nice. Oh, she said she wanted to complain to management, so um, I'm here. I don't think this is what she intended. I don't think so either, but... <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Oh. This looks like a nail. Yeah, it does. Only mini. What if this is the former's nail? Okay. Did you hear what she said? Like, only yeah. mini, she said. A document? Is this in some kind of code? Ooh. Can't read a word of it. North, Northmore, okay. To Dr. Theodore Ash Jr., as the director of the Federal Bureau of Control and chosen representative slash liaison slash benefactor to the greater authority of the board, I demand your immediate withdrawal from the foundation. Well, okay, he certainly called on mm -hmm. to their uh, slashing way of speaking. Prior memos issued broadly to the foundation staff called for swift reassignment of all personnel in the upper levels of the house. All staff complied except you. This demonstrates a lack of respect for my office and the board itself. This is their house and we are their guests. We should conduct ourselves accordingly. Normally such insubordination would be grounds for dismissal, but out of respect for your late father, consider this instead my final warning. The board and director Ash chose me as the successor to the office and no amount of petulance will change that. 
Instead, your actions seem to suggest that you know better than myself and by extension better than the board. Permit me to assure you that that is not possible. Sincerely, Director Broderick Northmore. Oh, you can zoom that in? I just realized that. Oh my god, we got through the entire ass game and most of this whole DLC. DLC. We didn't realize that we could zoom it in and instead we're like, hello. Still, that's... That was like an extremely condescending. Oh my god, yeah. For what it's worth, the guy is like, what, for what we, for, for, we've only heard like a few bits and pieces about Northmore, but nothing has been very good. The best thing that you can, that I think has been said about him was what Trench said, that he kept the lights on. And even then, I'm not sure he didn't need that lit like, that was that was a dig at him for the fact that he was literally in the reactor, I think. Exactly, yeah. So Yeah, no not 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 exactly a ringing endorsement. No. Yeah. And hell, even um even however however many oh. daddy issues that oh, that doesn't look good. Well the the nail is religious. What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. It has stopped. The nail is repaired. Okay. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Okay. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Fair. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. But I messed this all up. This is the exact opposite. Maybe was Marshall was before. right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. Then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. Why are they also twitching? I need to fix this now. Is it the tremors? I'll just maybe. I'll huh? figure something out. Gonna go we in the hole. really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what. Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just. I have to, Emily. I'm the director. And I caused the mess. This is on me. Well, not exactly. She tried to fix the mess that was already there. It may have made it worse, but I don't think it was her fault. See? Also, yeah. interrupt I this. Ash's secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. <laughs> the walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. Yes, that's good. The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of smaller version of the nail. <laughs> it looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. And tiny. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics? I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. None. Sorry. I did find this handwritten note. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ash had terrible handwriting. <laughs> Never meet your heroes, right? It looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. Former. That Ooh. explains the symbol. Oh, this it's is not juicy. in code, it's the symbol. This will take me days to parse out. Maybe weeks. She's so excited. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jesse. <laughs> she says in the middle of this problem. Oh my god. Also, can we just appreciate that the, that given the order in which you communicate? If you're not gonna her, listen to me, then you better go figure out how to stop this. There's no telling what would um, happen if the vibrations oh, escalate. I wonder if that, you know, you come down into this whole thing. I'll see you later. And Good luck. You're shaking Take things notes. around. You're shaking things around, and everyone's stressed out. And you're about to go down to the big hole. And she's like, "Please, will you please make a like? Will you please make a plan? I'm worried about you." And then you're just like, "No, I'm gonna go jump in the hole. You do what you can from here. I got this. I'm gonna fix this." But before I do, let me share with you my findings about this lab, even though I have no idea what's going on. But hopefully, I but I know you want a fangirl about this, so let me help. Okay. I hope I know what I'm doing. Uh, you probably don't, honey, but you've you've been able to survive well enough without that. Top of the nail. How much deeper does the foundation go? Oh boy. Hello. Entering day plus one eighteen. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. 
uh, mentally or physically? I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. Okay. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. Hey. Oh, I have God. to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Oh. Mm. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest oh, house had a lot. different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. <laughs> He sounds so sarcastic, I'm not gonna lie. The future. But he also sounds contemplative. Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. Well, they were spent 120, 118 days here. Place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. That's because of his AW. <laughs> Yeah, but, no. but it definitely seems like he was in contact with the former, or at least near the end. Oh, oh, sorry. I, uh, <laughs> that just me. The crystals are growing crazy here. It's almost like they're trying to stop me. So good thing both my board and the former have given me power to handle them. blew up the nail. The board attacked her. How rude! Oh my god, that is so mean. So the board attacked Marshall. Yeah! What the hell? I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. Ah, the spike again. But my HRA was damaged. I bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. <laughs> but I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. Mm -hmm. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everyone. Could the board have actually sent the astral spike? I mean, that we did see them in a few of the trials where mm -hmm. we were, you know, like messing yeah. around in the astral plane. And they are denizens of the astral plane, the same as the board is. And clearly, you know, destroying the nail was was harmful for them. Granted, fixing it may have also been seems to have also been a problem with that. I think it was yeah, so and that. yes, and you know this wasn't a problem until she blew up the nail. Yeah, and you know, like like she was saying, or um, like like Emily was saying, even if you know she didn't fix the nail, it would have just we still would have had problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. Oh, we got one more recording and something else over there. Okay. And then we're going to head into the big scary room that's glowing red. Okay. Oh, oh I can call for backup. Uh, nice. Nobody else hears the house. Their ears are too full of lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strand between North and North. Gun, the end. What hope do we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I've decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels. 
to end my long absence on the foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. Well, Northmore's a little flat. I don't care. Mm. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course. But I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. That's creepy. Very. But oddly enough, it also... He also seems a lot more, like, alive. I mean, he still sounds exhausted, but he does seem a little bit more, like, alive and, you know... Yeah. Almost happy. Than yeah. He did I think I found the problem. What the hell? The hiss is all around the um, pillar and... Yes. <sighs> oh, son of a bee, <laughs> They got the marshal. They got the marshal. Wait Marshall? a minute. You're... Alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but when red in the eye. God damn it. Yep. Inverted is made of right. Fuckers take everything. I am not letting you take this. You always been the new you. You want this to be true. I'm pretty sure it's Greek. Yeah, it's Greek. Um, in reference to like the Lotus um, theaters because of the hotel in the Percy Jackson book. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to remember like, where the uh, idea really, like first came from. But I don't think that Percy Jackson. Oh, oh, ouch. Stupid. The stupid sniper was making it hard to focus on Sorry. her. It was not you. It's it's the sniper. I know. I don't want to distract though. <laughs> the um. Yeah, then usually when most of those things, usually when you come across a um, Lotus Eater machine, usually what they tell you is, what they show you, is usually what it is. But, you know, then there's a, something like this, where it turns, you know, turns your Getting rid of the sniper first this time. Creating a well of health. Yay! Whoa! Oh! Oh, hello! Did you just try to hit me with a pipe I think it was her big gun or something. Maybe she had that big thing over her shoulder when she first saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I have to admit what she was saying about the board. Like, taking over everything. And corrupting, you know, corrupting trench, corrupting the bureau, corrupting all this stuff. I wonder if there is a truth to that. Like, if, like the, um, it definitely seems for the most part. Oh, the former. What the hell are you doing here? It's telling me to endure. It's a, yeah, assistance sends champion endurance. So is it sending help for you? Yes, it is. Oh, that, that, that? Thanks, buddy. 
the former is definitely one of the, the, the entities that I know so little about in this game, because it's just, you know, it's a problem, but then it's not a problem. And then it, 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 it's at least helpful, but you don't know if that really, like, stops it from being a problem, or you don't know if it's still a problem, but it's just a more helpful one. Mm. The if the that is the, um, if Marshall is what she's saying is true, obviously she wasn't in the know on other things. The, if the board, if the board is, you know, getting to, like, I've gotten the trench, does that mean they can also get the jet? Maybe. She does have Polaris to help her. Which is, it is clearly what's doing against pretty much everything else. It mm. even helps her come back out of the um, corruption or like, <coughs> you know, by utilizing the power that's in the But at the same time, you know, like, even if she could handle it, it'd be nice if she didn't have to. There's not really enough crap going on. Oop. Well, avoid, avoid the angry marshal. <laughs> Go find the angry colonel instead. Maybe the angry sarge. We can handle an angry sarge. Sorry, I'm looking to help. The nail is corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering and what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. We could have saved her. But I can still save everyone else. Alright, you got this, like... Yeah, that was what she was worried about. Um, on the plus side, though, it, it doesn't seem like the nail would be susceptible again once we purify it. Press F to pay respects. To the nail, and to Marshall. You are cleansed, liberated, hallelujah. <laughs> the nation is stable, being a-okay. Hope you approve your attitude slash loyalty. Oh, relax. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sure to. Oh, I love Jesse. Let's play so it smart. They don't need to know I'm onto them. Not yet, anyway. Mm, it seems that she seems to realize that there's some shadiness to, to them. Yeah, so Marshall may have ended up achieving what she set out to do in the end anyway. Yeah. That's actually. Oh, oh, look, it just, it just keeps going. It looks like it stops soon after, but it's still much bigger than we would have thought. I have to admit, if the former was an enemy that can be helpful, or you know, maybe maybe the form like maybe the former was more of an ally than we realized, but is um, but you know, still is problematic. Maybe the bureau is an enemy that a secret enemy that can actually be helpful. Oh. Huh? Former? Is this not the place where we saw us? Hello? Yeah. There we go. The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. Yes. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Okay. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. Oh. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. Um. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. No, uh, she's not wrong there. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. I mean, there was a lot of crap that you didn't see. Mm. That you could have seen coming. I promise. I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? Uh-oh. Well, that's not creepy or anything. Yeah. And I do like that they showed that they showed the pyramid inverting back onto itself, so it's like now upright. Yeah. And you know, just. Yeah. But we actually saw the former here outside the main world, mm -hmm. just you know, hanging out. Hanging out, doing its thing. And also, she's like, you know, I can't I, stop it. I, oh. I know how to handle things now that I'm the director. Clearly, it's not that simple. Well, you just picked up a gun and didn't I pull it in the to choose a direction for the Bureau. It should be one that serves our goals, not the board's. Whatever those are. I need to lead. 
my way. Okay, let's go talk to Emily one more time just in case there's anything left for her to say. It is kind of cute, cool that the nail looks like it has a big pyramid ticking now out. Now that this yeah. nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Look at him. Just for a little bit. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I think too. I think that the entrance is down at the bottom there, which means that when we came out, the form was out there among the pillars. Yeah. Which he also he just sent back up to me during mm -hmm. the thing, and I can't help but think that that small nail might be, you know, his his own because you know he's like creating his own part of the astral plane yeah he i mean he seems to certainly be connected to the border they have a history and really the only people who we have seen having any connection to the board have either been directors or other creatures from the astral plane yeah now the question is do you want to do do you want to at least start a new dlc or do you want to end here let's end here i think it's a good stopping point i'm starting to feel a little, i'm starting to crash a little bit that's all right <sighs> um, besides we've been going for almost two and a half hours and i think this is a yep. really good place to stop yep. just remind me that next time our goal is the sector elevator okay our goal is the sector elevator for next time sassy pants and that's why you love me yeah now here's the question should we wear a different outfit to go and help to go and do oh look we have the officer's assistant outfit uh, yeah we, we had that before i don't think so i think this is the one she was wearing in the um yeah we had that before i don't remember us having it before yeah it was listed Ah, yeah, I don't, I'm wondering if we should... Should we keep the asynchronous suit to go in? Yeah, I like asynchronous. Yeah. Either that, or let's think about it. Next time we come back, we'll decide if we want to go with that one or the janitors, just because of the connection between Ati and, like, legit everything else. So, <sighs> and on that note... Thank you, everyone, for coming. Yes. I hope you, you had a great time. If anybody is in an area where it is snowy slash icy and you need to travel, please be careful. Um, because, you know, obviously it's going to be pretty cold the, lo the next few days, so there's going to be a lot more ice. So, yeah, just drive carefully, be safe, stay warm, and we'll see you next time. Good night, Internet. Good night, Internet. Hey, what's this button?